To begin developing in Java, you should first install the JDK, the Java Development Kit. The JDK contains many programming tools that you'll need, including Java itself, the programming language, and the command to run Java programs, the Java Virtual Machine, which enables a computer to run Java programs, the Java Runtime Environment, which is a set of software tools for developing Java applications, the compiler, or the Java C command, which converts source code, which is the Java code that you wrote, to bytecode, which is a file that the JVM understands and interprets. The archiver, which is the jar command that packages up your Java classes into one file for distribution. Uh, and a documentation generator, the Java doc command, which creates documentation called an API, an application programming interface. And there are several editions of the JDK, including the standard edition, which is a Java platform that's widely used for Java development. The Enterprise Edition, which is a Java platform that's used for developing large-scale applications. And the Micro Edition, which is a Java platform for developing applications that run on mobile devices and embedded systems. And we're going to use the Standard Edition, so let's now download and install the JDK. So the easiest way to find the JDK is to simply Google the word JDK. And you'll be presented with some results. and this result right here that says Java SE Development Kit 8 is the one that you want. So click on that and you'll be taken to the Downloads tab on Oracle's website. Oracle owns Java. And scroll down to this section that says Java SE Development Kit 8. Click on this radio button that says Accept License Agreement. It's going to thank you. And then depending on which operating system that you're using, so if you're using Windows, you'll probably want this Windows EXE file. If you're using a MacBook, you'll want the DMG file. If you're using Linux, you'll use one of these files above the Mac download file. So I'm using Windows 10, so I'm going to select the Windows download link to download the JDK and store it in my downloads directory. It's fine. You can save it anywhere that you want. And once it's completed downloading, you can double click it to start the installation wizard for the JDK. So it completed downloading, and we can double click the file. Welcome to the installation wizard for the Java SE Development Kit 8. This wizard will guide you through the installation process. So click on the Next button. This is specifying which path do you want to install the Java JDK. It's going to default to on Windows, the program file slash Java slash JDK. It's going to go there. So I'm going to keep all the default options and click Next. And it's going to go ahead and install the JDK. Then you get a screen that says, where do you want to install the, the JRE directory? And it's also going to go in program file slash Java. That's fine with me. Click Next. So I'm just using all the default options. So the JDK completed inst installing. You can click on next steps to access tutorials, API documentation, developer guides, release notes, and more to help get you started.